Hello, my name is Matthew, the Beauty Shaper, and in this video I'll be sharing information on human growth hormones, also known as HGH. Human growth hormone supplementation has proven to be effective in reducing HGH deficiency. HGH is produced by the pituitary gland and it helps underdeveloped children and adolescents develop normally, especially during puberty. According to the Israel Journal of Medical Sciences, it was found that HGH therapy also contributes to helping testicular growth in prepubescent boys and pubescent boys. It was also found to help the length of the penis in pubescent boys grow to a normal size when they were abnormally small. The study included adult males with similar issues and when the HGH deficiency was removed through HGH therapy, the penis and testicle size increased to a normal size, just as with the children studied. Also, HGH was found to assist in regulating body composition as well as the normal growth of muscles and bones. It also contributes to the absorption of sugar, fat, and the normal functioning of the heart. The New England Journal of Medicine published a study on men from 61 to 81 years old and confirmed that as a person ages, HGH, lean body mass, and bone density decrease in the body while at the same time fat increases. This isn't good because it can make way for osteoporosis and in aged population, even broken hips. During the study, men were given HGH injections for six months without regard to exercise. After this period, there was a noticeable increase in lean body mass and a decrease in fat and thickening of the skin and an increase in bone density. And this is without exercise. Another study also concluded that although there were improvements in the previously aforementioned body composition, exercise was not a factor. In essence, HGH improved body composition without exercising. It's important to mention that although some people believe that HGH therapy can actually increase the lifespan, no evidence of this has actually been proven. In fact, it may be reduced. It's also important to mention that studies indicated prolonged HGH therapy from six months to a year in elderly people can cause joint pain, edema, and carpal tunnel syndrome. And in such cases, stopping treatment would be suggested. Issues from HGH therapy that might occur include cancer, diabetes, and impaired fasting glucose levels, and possibly enlargements of the breasts in men. Also, while HGH treatments increase lean body mass and decrease body fat, soon after the treatment stops, lean body mass decreases and the body fat comes back. A positive effect was that bone density increased 18 to 36 months after treatment and it remained constant even after the treatment was stopped. The consensus is that exercise alone without the help of HGH therapy can actually produce the same results in body composition. There are benefits and there are risks when undergoing HGH therapy. So it's up to the individual and his or her doctor to decide if the benefits outweigh the risks before, during, and after treatment. Although HGH is produced naturally by the body, several synthetic forms of HGH hormone exists and is usually used to treat children with HGH deficiency or growth issues or adults with short bowel syndrome. This is when a person undergoes surgery to have the big part of the small intestine removed. And another thing is that HGH has also been prescribed for hypopituitarism, which basically is when the pituitary gland doesn't produce enough hormones. This can be caused by a tumor in the pituitary gland, and as the tumor grows, it can damage the pituitary gland by compressing it, and it can actually interfere with the production of hormones. It can also cause visual problems and compressing the optic nerve as well. Another use for HGH is to reverse muscle wasting in diseases such as HIV or AIDS. Others use this hormone to build muscle or to enhance their athletic performance during competitions. But most health experts don't suggest using it for this purpose because the risks from prolonged use may outweigh the benefits. Some companies promote HGH as a drug that can actually reverse the deterioration of the body from aging 
Although this hormone has not been approved by the United States FDA for that. There's also other forms of HGH sold on the market, which are basically pills or sprays, but these are known to not be effective since they are digested by the stomach before they are absorbed by the body. The most effective way to absorb HGH is through injections because that way it goes directly into the bloodstream. A study conducted by the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that HGH therapy along with testosterone replacement therapy can actually work in harmony and improve muscle building potential. But also I should let you know that according to a 2008 study in the United Kingdom, although HGH therapy has been shown benefits, it also has its withdrawals that can actually happen after stopping the treatment. These symptoms include loss of energy, an increase of fatigue, pain, irritability, and depression. Lastly, although HGH pills are said to not be effective once they are digested, some of these supplement pills such as amino acid arginine or GABA have been shown to help the production of HGH levels to some extent. Both arginine and GABA are produced by the body, but sometimes more is needed to balance the functions of the body and produce the desired effects in the body. I'll discuss more about that and these amino acids in another video. Always remember, you can achieve your health and fitness goals, but you and you alone can do it. But believe in yourself. I know you can. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. That way it will motivate me to make more. Thank you so much. Have a great day.